Well, you know, I had thought that I wanted to be a math major. Probably because Coach Swinehart taught math. He was a good instructor, and math was easy under him. Of course, small high school, I believe the only math offered was algebra and geometry. I don't remember any trig ever being offered. We did have uh, physics and... Uh, I don't think any chemistry. I took the physics. Well, you know, the teacher I had for algebra that first semester, turns out, I found out later that he was a fill-in for the math professor that I came to love and respect. Later, not because I took more math, but because he was also the uh, player coach of the university place Christian Church softball team. Great man. Great man. Ended up asking him to come out and give a commencement address later to one of the graduating classes at Hartner. So, you know, I had no idea that the problem might have been partly a professor and not all Dean Riggs. But I struggled with that math. And it just didn't make sense. A lot of times, I don't I think probably I got a B in the course. I'd have to go back and look, but I didn't get but two or three C's in the entire undergraduate program, and I know where one of them was, and that was in English that first semester. But it was such a bad experience that I decided before the semester was half over that you're not going to be a math teacher. You're just not that good in math. And, you know, maybe if Prof had been there, Prof Mason, maybe I would have been a math teacher. Never will know. That other class that gave me even more trouble, it wasn't as upsetting to me because I'd never really liked English as taught in the high school at all. Tolerated it, did all right with it, but <laughs> favorite, no, 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 no. So it wasn't surprising that I didn't particularly enjoy the course, but the teacher, oh man, this old matey's type of gal that... Uh, us guys decided that she certainly wasn't married and no man would put up with her. She was so picky, picky, picky. And she treated us like we were third graders. She'd ask a question, but you couldn't just volunteer an answer. You know, you had to hold your hand up and wait to be, yes, Mr. Riggs, yes, Mr. Jones. And she used the word queer. All of us military guys in those days knew that queer meant homosexual. And, you know, we I never even heard the word homosexual as far as I know when I was in high school. But in the Army that first time, whoa, you'd have thought queers were really bad. And, of course, we still have that prejudice running around loose today. But she'd use it, and we'd all be snickering, and she didn't have the slightest idea of what the heck she was saying and, uh, that the word had meanings other than unusual. Well, I wanted to coach, so uh, I was taking uh, a minor. I intended to take a minor from the beginning in physical education. So now I need to switch to a different major. And I'd wanted to be from way back there in high school when I decided that People listen a lot closer to a school superintendent in, in terms of doing what's expected than they do to a preacher. And I was interested in the ministry, too, but I decided they don't pay much attention to what you say. Oh, yeah, you get to make a speech every Sunday and every Sunday night, sometimes on Wednesday, too, but they don't pay much attention. Lots of, lots of lip service, but they're not really paying attention to what's being taught and exhorted. So I want to be a school superintendent, so if I'm not going to be a math teacher, I'll just take the general requirements for elementary ed and secondary ed. And it seems to me the way they were set up there that there were requirements that you had to meet on both ends of the street, but you could do them both together. You didn't have to declare and go one way or the other. I soon learned that you want to pay a lot of attention to what the teacher's saying and how the teacher says what he or she says. But that's really another story, and we'll get to that shortly.